Priya. So hi student everyone. Good morning. Morning. Yeah. So as a series of lectures on Materia Medica, today we are going to discuss about the philosophy of Materia Medica. So actually is the new version or the new idea of uh, learning Materia Medica, the new concept of how to learn Materia Medica with the nature, how to understand the Materia Medica from the behave, behavior of the nature. So that's why we are going to discuss. So easily you can understand the, the picture compared with the, the patient picture, the drug picture then the patient picture. So next uh, slide, the salutation to the pioneers of uh, Materia Medica. Then the recent living legend of uh, homeopathy, the people, those who are teaching us. So I learned from uh, the, this technique, what I am going to teach, the, the ideology from these people. Uh, Dr. Rajan Shankaran from Bombay, George Vidilkas from Greece, and Jans Carlton from Netherlands. So this is, what is that? Remedies. This is a homeopathic remedies which used uh, Henneman, right? So I got it from his museum. Right, so first of all we have to understand the, the health. What is health? Health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, not merely the absence of the disease. See? So WHO, the World Health Organization, they define, they define, uh, they has defined health, but not the disease. Why? Because disease has many spectrum and many dimension. So, when you understand about the disease, because this, this idea I took from uh, uh, community medicine, the uh, social and preventive medicine uh, authored by Park. So there itself, they explain the different dimension of the disease, right? The behavioral, biological, environmental, socioeconomic, cultural, right? All these, uh, the ideology. Then, the epidemiology has contributed, even in uh, old school of medicine, as Hanneman called the allopathic system, our present day of understanding multifactorial causation of the disease. The medical scientists are looking beyond, beyond the germ theory. So even they themselves, they accept, right, apart from the germ theory, apart from the uh, different, their concept of disease, total life situation of the patient the 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 total right the so we have to consider the patient as total right as a the whole here the the very important concept uh, even in community medicine also we learned that so when you put the small piece of uh, what do you call the ice into the into the water there are small portions only it's merged, right? The floating up. There are one eighth portions, it's submerged. So it's very difficult to understand. So when the patient come, the patients are the same situations, right? So to understand the patient, to understand the, to study the, the nature of the disease in the patient, to understand the nature of the patients, so we need the, the whole ideology. What the patient present in front of you? What are the submerged portions which are not right, uh, expressed out? So those kind of ideology we need. For example, here, the upper portion I consider as the human state, the face, what, what the patient is telling, the symptomatology, the outward reflex of the patient. But there are a lot of things, 70% uh, or we can say 80% of the symptoms are it's submerged, right? 
It's hiding that. So that is we called as non-human state. I'll tell you later on what, why, why I, I, I named this one. I named the, the human state and the non-human state. So the person as a whole, what we studied, what we understand from, from the basic, right, from the anatomy, physiology, embryology, and different uh, the scientific uh, the subjects. So we know, right, one sperm, then the one ovum, all together it makes one cell. So from the one cell, the baby born. So there itself it's a whole, right? From there, it's divide, divided different system, different, organ, uh, different organs. So in the embryology itself, we can get some uh, idea, the per person as a whole, because it's, it started from one sing a single cell uh, concept. What is this? Scarvy, right? Right. So whenever the patient comes, before understanding the materia medica, so what is the purpose of materia, studying the um, purpose of materia medica? Just to compare with the, just to understand the nature of the patient. Just to understand the, the picture of the patients. Here the drug picture, the patient picture, the disease picture, or the whole picture. Here, when the patient comes, so usually what we do, we take the symptom right from head to foot, what the patient tells, all location, sensation, modality, concomitance or whatever, right? The patient tells as what we studied in the, in the medical school. So we, according to that, we take the history. So beyond that, there are a lot of things. So that's why I wanted to explain uh, from this picture, from this ideology. So when, when, whenever they take a stone, what they do? They carving, do the carving. They just uh, remove the unwanted things. When they removed after that, then you will get the, the clear, right, statue like that. See? So how it's happened? Because the, these unwanted things, right, here, you can see the, the lot of unwanted things. These are not wanted to the carvers. But as a homeopath, we need this one. Because even the patient doesn't want that symptoms, right? Usually whenever they come, they sell fever, pain, all these, right, the regular things. But we are, as a homeopath, we have to, we have to go into deeper and deeper and deeper into the, the picture of the disease, right? If they, uh, simply they said headache, then we have to go into deeper, the location, sensation, the modality, all right. They doesn't want, the patient doesn't want all this uh, nonsense, right? Because we need the nonsense. So from that we get the picture, the clear picture. So that's why today we are going to discuss. What is sense, what is nonsense, right? <laughs> now you, okay. So as an introduction of, uh, the understanding of the materia medica, the organ, so already we are discussing, right, in the regular classes. Repertory, usually we, uh, we, we studied in the, the final year, third year, uh, right. The materia medica, from the first year it, itself, just we are studying, right. So the, what is this? The drug, the medicine, and the remedy. So before going into, before understanding the concept, so we have to understand the, what is the meaning of the drug. If you see all the three things, it, it, it may look like a similar, similar words, right? Usually in, the, in, the, in the, the common population, in the common people they use, right, drug, remedy, they, usually they confuse. But as a homeopath, we must clear what is the drug. The drug means the substance which has capability of alter the health, whatever substance. So what is the, the medicine? According to the homeopathic concept, the medicine means 
the proved drug on the patient on the healthy in, sorry not no, not on the patient on the healthy individual the proved drug on the healthy individual that's called the medicine what is the remedy so the name itself it's explained right it did not what is that it has the healing properties it has the healing property it is an indicator remedy for the patient the indicator yeah the indicator remedy for the each individual the, that is the final end okay next uh, the the tool the materia medica we consider as a tool of uh, homeopathic prescription then the concept the organon is the concept the philosophy right what the hanuman has written many aphorisms so that is a concept so how the homeopathy develops what is the 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 concept what is the ideology behind the homeopathy right uh, how it's the cure uh, disease um, the prescription second prescription a lot of things that that we are going to discuss uh, later on then the technique so that is in whenever the patient comes the techniques that is case taking case analysis then we prescribe the remedy you got it okay then so the same thing i think so today we are going to discuss about the philosophy of materia medica that is a important things philosophy science and art because homeopathy all together it is a philosophy science and art so what it means the philosophy means the realization search for knowledge and understanding the nature so here very important because today's topic is the the nature right nature of the drugs what is science the science as we know the organized the formulated knowledge obtained by observation and experimenting fact that is our what is that drug proving you got it right hi then art this is the prescription so here the skill and application of both philosophy and science when you apply on the patients on the individual that is called art that's why the homeopathy is called art right art means a little right beyond little more than that then a uh, little idea about uh, source of homeopathic materia medica so what is source sorry not a uh, source book of homeopathic materia medica so as uh, the this is according to the kent the kent says these are the source book of all uh, right materia medica that materia medica pura hanimans chronic disease hanimans hearing guiding symptoms how many volume is a 10 volume then allen encyclopedia of materia medica that's also many volumes then these are the four important materia medicas kent lectures on materia medica then the farrington clinical materia medica clark dictionary of practical materia medica and dunham lectures on materia medica so as a homeopath at least so we are to just turn the pages turn the pages of uh, all these things whenever you have time then the other books which i follow which most of the homeopaths they follow the the all these uh, books it's a really it is a practical and uh, uh, the clinical aspect right easily you can prescribe when you understand in a simplified form of when you go to the chronic disease or hearing guiding symptoms as we i say as i said it's a long volume so it's very difficult to memorize all these things so in a short form in a natural form they prescribe right even from these sources they took all these uh, the pictures then they 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 prescribe they describe in their format 
in different each and every material america it has its own picture it has its own uh, thoughts the allen's keynotes that is our very important right easily you can turn and understand the the keynote that's called allen keynote the pulford keynote so like that different rajan shankaran is a different concept the today also we are today we are going to discuss the same thing uh, the other materia americas right mm. then the source of materia america from we get the idea how the materia america formed the origin of the materia america right see drug provi number 1 that is a the homeopathic what is that underpinning foundation right the clinical proving then the physiological data like salt and iodine right normally what what they is a it's a it's a scientific uh, the what do you call the physiological data how it acts then the pharmacolog pharmacological action like a poison uh, different from all these things toxicological again the same minerals and metals and toxicological substances then the chemical composition usually the yan not uh, yan jan j jan scalter he describe the materia america in different way the chemical composition how the chemistry works what is the structure of the chemistry so he compared with the the chemistry the structure with the the individual right the picture of the chemical then the picture of the patient then tatobadi the allopathic drugs in the same way for example um the what do you call the uh, steroids cortisones we have a lot of things then the analogy that is a doctor of signature this is also uh, the one part of uh, today's lecture then uh, different me methodology of studying materia america to understand the drug picture of each uh, remedies each uh, the uh, the drugs first number one on the basis of the source the plant kingdom so most uh, 70% of the homeopathic drugs are derived from the plants then the animal kingdom another maybe 25% or maybe if we can say 20% of the remedies uh, the drugs which derive from the animal kingdom different uh, groups or different we can say different uh, uh, the family of uh, animal then the mineral then the acid so like that then the other other methodology of uh, easily understanding uh, the materia medica on the action where it acts acting the drugs where it acts some remedy we call the glandular remedy some remedy we call the, the liver remedies some remedy we call that pain remedies so according to that the the for example berberis vulgaris it's a exactly it's a renal remedy right so like that renal remedy cardiac remedies cactus like that then the the basis on the therapeutics uh for example cancer remedies cough remedies like that then on the specific uh, basic basis of uh, the specific conditions like burning remedies so what are the burning remedies for example arsenic album sulfur phosphorus right then the thirstless remedy pulsatilla epis like that flat sudden remedies carbovich lycopodium china now you got the idea right then the restless remedies arsenicum rostrax like so like the, then according to the modalities so these are uh, in this uh, this way in which you can understand the the deeper philosophy the deeper concept of the materia medica then the constant study of materia medica must right so as a person as a human being so if uh, i don't know how many of you follow the religion right usually each and every religion they have a their own book right like a quran bible like that so every day we read i don't know whether you whether you are reading or not i read right so in such a way materia america and organon just a small paragraph of organons 
and at least one page of the Materia Medica. Right. If you read like that. So in my prayer table, the organon is there. One or two Materia Medica is there. So after my prayer, I used to read. At least one, one pages daily. <laughs> so this is the ha habit I learned from my master from Chennai. <clears throat> the uh, mastering the characteristic, it's a, it's a very important thing. So the whole Materia Medica, if you see the sulfur in herring guiding symptoms, more than 80 pages. I think it's more than, I'm, I'm not sure that, but more than 80 pages of uh, the picture. So it's very difficult. So that's why the mastering the characteristic, that's, that's what today we are going to do. How to right, understand the, the key symptoms, the master symptoms or the important symptom. Minimum symptom, the maximum value. Each and every important drugs, each and every drugs have this kind of quality. The key symptoms. So like that, uh, different ideology, right? This is the one, lateral will, okay. Yeah. Then the portrait of the picture. When you study the Materia Medica, each and, uh, I told you, each and every Materia Medica has their own, the, the own pathway, their own, uh, the, their picture. I told you, the Kent, he wrote the, his Materia Medica is like a novel form. When you read the novel, it's right. So like that, it, uh, it uh, differ the person to person with their experience. So whenever you study the Materia Medica, if you have this format, easily you can understand. Easily you can write the memorize or easily you can um, get the points. For example, the name of the drug, like Belladonna, right, for example. Synonym, natural order, habit, preparation of drug, proof. So like that, different toxicological, chemical, um, then doctrine of signature, physical cause, the, that means the ailment forms like then the mental cause, miasmatic cause. So like that, uh, you have to form a format, make a format and you have to write side by side. Just reading different materia medicas and get the points. So easily you can, you have to make your own, own? Materia medica. Not those, <laughs> old materia medica, right? So I have that. This technique I learned from one ENT surgeon from Coimbatore. In, right in India. He is basically an allopathic doctor. Now he is practicing uh, the, the homeopathy. So I learned uh, this, this, uh, this kind of technique. Right? See, when you, under, when you do, go into deeper, the mind, will, emotion and understand the uh, different dimension, different levels of the, the mind. Will, what is will? Thinking. Emotion, the feeling of the patient. The same thing, feeling of the, the particular picture, the drug, understanding, perception, the intellect, knowledge and wisdom. So these are the idea. Each and every drug, they have fear, anxiety, desire, trust, aversion, jealousy, so anger. So when you go into deeper and deeper, for example, the anger of the Naxomica, what is the anger of uh, the Belladonna, what is the anger of Lycopodium? So like that, different. Then the dreams. So nowadays, uh, even the uh, the present days, um, the genius in homeopathy like Rajan Shankar and um, George Vidalkas. So they 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 more concentrate on this aspect. Even one characteristic, right? Go into deeper and deeper dreams of different drugs. Compare with the dreams of the patients. If there is four or five dreams, if it is match, matched, then you can prescribe. Why? Because the dreams revealed the hidden key of the remedy. Right? Reflect the, what is that? The superconscious mind. Right? Highly charged emotional state. So it's a hidden emotional state that's a reflex as a dream. Dream means it's not one day dreams. 
some romantic dreams. No, it's the, the frequent dreams. The dreams comes frequently, often, right? Then the sensation as if. This is very important, right? This technique I learned from the Rajan, Rajan Shankara, the sensation. So different kind of, there's a book, uh, say, uh, H.A. Robots, sensation as if, right? So when the patient comes, then you have to ask, what, what kind of sensation you have? They said, a uh, pain. Simply they said, the pain means, when you ask the next question, what kind of pain is that? They'll say, it's a, maybe burning pain. So burning is the common. You can't prescribe the medicine on the burning, right? Then you have to go into deeper. Can you explain about the burning? Then they will tell you different names. It's burning like a chili. It's burning like a acid. It's burning like a, right? I'll tell you one case, right? Um, one patient came. Uh, it's a case of uh, tinnitus. Tinnitus, these, some of them they call tinnitus or tinnitus, whatever. The ring ring, not ring ring, it's a, some kind of unwanted noise, right, in the ear. Then I, 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 I study the case. Then I ask him, uh, can you explain a little bit deeper into the, the, the noise? Then he said, uh, maybe it's kind of uh, some blowing. Right. Then, I, I, then I ask, just go into deeper a little. What, what kind of blowing? Then I ask, uh, then he said, uh, it's, it's like a, when you take a small tube, right? When you blow it through that, whoo, that kind of, right? That kind of uh, sensation. Then I went to the HA robots, uh, just I turned the pages of HA robots material, sorry, the sensation as if the book, reference book. It's clearly mentioned about that. There's only one drug, it's called glow nine. What is glow nine? What is that? The glow nine. It is a nitroglycerin. It's a TNT, tri nitro toluene. Right? What is that? It's a explosive. bomb, explosive <laughs> material, right? Then I ask him, ask him uh, because he's a, basically a medical doctor, but he is not practicing here. In back home, he's, he was a medical doctor in, in, in from Sri Lanka. Then uh, I go into a little, just I want to know about the history, why it's a glonine is coming. Then uh, uh, I ask him, do you have any connection with the, these kind of things, the, the, uh, the explosive material? Then he laugh at me, right? The laughing is different because of the gest, the, the gesture of the patient, right? Sudden, sudden laughing, the, while taking the history, laughing and weeping is a turning point, right? To recognize <laughs> yeah, to recognize something is there, right? Some hidden. And he said, yeah, I walk, sorry, I work in the uh, war field quite a long time, more than 10 years, you know, in Sri Lanka, civil war, right? So I, I come across a lot of explosives, even in uh, many, many days, they were hiding in the, the, the what do you call, the underground, right? Bungus, uh, bungus, yeah, thank you. So in such a way, so I smoked a lot, lot of uh, the smoke of uh, explosive materials. See how the picture, right, <laughs> how it works. So after maybe three months, uh, I, I gave, uh, not, I can't say not single dose, the frequent dose, two days in a week or three days in a week, maybe uh, 15 to 20 days, 20, uh, mm, yeah, so maybe after three, four months, slowly, gradually, withdraw the symptoms. So even the one, one single symptom, like a, right, change the life of the person, so like that. So we'll have a small break, then we'll, 
So why we have to study the Materia Medica? Why? If you have thorough knowledge of Materia Medica, you can target, like easily you can target the patient because the, the patient explained the same language of Materia Medica. So without the Materia Medica knowledge, if you take the history for three, four hours, no, it's not possible to get the correct remedy. If you understand the Materia Medica, then easily you can target the, target the, the individual. One day, my, one, of, one day my son, right, when he playing the, you know, this, uh, the, the arrow, right? Yeah. So, but just I enter, it was in the correct position like that, right? Then I uh, just call him and hug him and, uh, yeah, you, do, you did a good job, right? How it's possible? Then he said, Dad, it's very easy, you know. Just put the arrow here and put the round over there. <laughs> <laughs> so most of the homeopaths, what we are doing, right? The same plague, right? Since we ask the question according to the, the pre-plan, right? The pre-conceived ideas. So that's, that's not the correct way of homeopathy. So as we know, the human organism is more than a mere sum of uh, physical components. So usually we know the, the, the Western medicine, right, they analyze on the, the organs and systems and, right, cells and tissues. They, they, they concentrate on that. So apart from that, there are a lot of things, right? So this is the, the, the picture of the, the patient as well as the picture of the, the Materia Medica. Yeah. Philosophy of uh, the Materia Medica. How the Materia, the, what is the, the concept behind the Materia Medica? No need of uh, writing notes because I'll give you the copy of the, you can just, you can draw. So the drug proving, the Materia Medica derived from the sources of Materia Medica is the, the, the basic is drug proving. So it's an artificial disease what we create to the, the healthy individual, right? In the other way, the patients. The patients is a natural disease. This is artificial disease, natural disease, right? So from that, we get the picture, the portrait of the, from the drug proving, we get the picture. We just uh, study the patients and one by one, they, they, they our pioneers, they did a lot of research on healthy individual, right? Then it, the Materia Medica forms. Uh, the, the drug picture, portrait of the drug. Here the portrait of the patient, how it comes? Through the case taking, through the totality of symptoms. So we get the picture of the patient. Here the picture of the drug. Right. Then after the, the drug, then it becomes potentization. Right. So this is the homeopathic, core of the homeopathy potentization. When you potentize the, the substance, then it's become a medicine. In the first introduction, I explained, right? Drug, medicine and remedy. See, what is the medicine? It is immaterial only, energy form. That is a, there's no material, right? You know, homeopathic medicines are just beyond the 12C. There is no uh, material. So here, the same way, the disease. The disease also it has the energy form. The patient as a person, the energy level of the individual. The energy level it can express through various organs. It can express through this, the ear, express through the eye, express through the nose as a running nose, in different right symptoms. But the core of the disease somewhere somewhere else, right? The because of suffering vital force, this is, is nothing but it's a derangement of the vital force. Internal derangement of the vital force that express outwardly as a sim symptoms. You got the idea, right? Yeah. That is called the dynamic vital force. So on the other side, this side, the same as the continuation. What is curative in medicine? 
what is to be cured in the disease, not the pathology, something. If you treat the pathology, there are a lot of people in the market, right? The other <laughs> field of medicine, right? So here, we treat the cause. Cure, not the suppression, not the treatment, so, right? The cure, what is to be cured in the disease? Here, the potentized remedy do not have any site of action. The potentized remedy, they have dynamic effect only. Only the energy form. In the same way, it is a central disturbances that is to be cured and not the pathology. So we have to treat the, the core of the disease, the dynamic of the person, dynamic of the disease individual. So when we remove the central disturbances, automatically the pathology removes. The pathology went away. So that is the homeopathic, the basic concept. So what is the central disturbances? The penis, not the psycho, endocrino, neuro, immune system, right? So psycho, endocrino, neuro, immuno system is responsible for these uh, central disturbances. So we'll discuss uh, those things in that. Then the materia medica. <clears throat> In the introduction of my today's lecture, I explain about the right the the, the non-human voice, non-human voice of the natural source. Each and every substance of the substance in the universe, it has its own character. It has its own uh, the the own uh, what do you call um, the uh, what we can say nature. The, right, the water, this is the plastic material, this is the, the wood material, so different materials what we have in the universe, right? So each and every the substance has their own characteristic, their own uh, the, um, the nature. When we understand the nature of the substance or nature of the we can say that in, in homeopathy we call kingdom-like. So we, we classified the whole universe into material and non-material, right? Material, these are all what, what we can see that is material. What is immaterial? The light and the sound and energy forms, right? Different kind of the heat, sensation. So these are all, it's very difficult to understand because it's invisible, immaterial. Material and immaterial. Then the material you can divide it into different kind, right? What is that? The animal, plant, mineral, liquid, so different, right? So like that, the non-human voice of the natural source are very important. The language of the nature. Each and every plant, each and every animal, it has its own character. When you go into deeper the, the habits, the character of uh, each substance, then materia medica is easy, simple. That's why today we are going to do, right? I'll, I'll explain. Uh, sensation and the energy level of the individual. Already we discussed about that something deeper than the physical and mental symptoms. It's not the language of the human. The pain is the language, pain is the, 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 the normal language of the, the individual. The itching is the normal, it's a common. When, when, when the patient comes, if, 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 say, if he said itching, can you prescribe any remedy for that? No. Then you have to go into deeper and deeper. What is non-human? What is the hidden one, right? So how to collect? That is a that that is a the a, a technique of the homeopaths. That is a basic technology of homeopaths. What 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 nowadays we have to learn. Non-human language, pain is the human language, crying is the human language, 
but the what is non human language that is very important the source from the animal plant and mineral because these are the source of homeopathic drugs the homeopathic remedies so it can be expressed by words sensation gestures delusions dreams and deeper the mind values find out whether the person is talking animal language or plant language or the mineral language can you explain what that means no that's that's what we have <laughs> right why you are hurry <laughs> <laughs> one by one we'll go right <clears throat> the disease is not human songs or human language i i use a different word to right to attract the the lecture right <clears throat> on the basis of homeopathic principles like cure by like a remedy is selected which is prepared from substance whose song is similar to the patient's non human songs non human the uh, language of the disease per the disease individual so when the potentized beyond the 12c there is no homeopathy there there is no the material substance there is no arsenical there is no acid night right it do it doesn't have any material substance what the remain in them only the energy the energy of the phosphorus the energy of belladonna journey into the inner being of the remedy similar to that even this is the patient here the the source the the kingdom so we have to understand what the remedy speaks what the source speaks what is the kingdom speaks the 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 habits of the for example in the the ne the next uh, topic is going to be like that the habits of the uh, lifestyle or the habits of the bee what is bee honey bee what is the medicine the apis mellifica right the language of the habits of the gold it has its own habits the gold can you compare the gold and the steel the normal steel no why it's it's, it's called it's, why 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 give it more important to the gold than uh, the iron why it has the quality right yes or no yeah. why give why we give we give, give important to the orchids than the normal jasmine right is very cheaper now you got the idea right here this non human uh, nonsense <laughs> what is that non human nonsense that is nonsense that is not need for the patient but we need right why they are they are they are, they are the patients are worrying about the delusion i came for the treatment of the piles patient doesn't interact with the dreams or interact with the uh, right they are uh, the delusion but we need that why why we need that because in the drug proving in the materia medica it is there right the 100 patients or 10 patients come with the piles or hemorrhoids are we prescribe the same remedy in no why we, why we, it's it's differentiate because each and each different there are different individual there are unique yes or no what is a unique why why uh, you and the other person is unique or different there are some qualities different character you have different character you have different character right so in the such a way we have to understand the so what are the things we have to get it from the patient repetition of their words what kind of word they are repeating while while studying the case what kind of terminology they are 
the body language right the action then the hand gestures how we react when you ask some questions immediately the patient will head goes down some patients they laugh at you yes or no some reaction like that right so why 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 it's happened because the same language is in the 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 source too right where the source the kingdom the animals and plants right will come don't worry <laughs> right then the mental state the delusion and dreams and sensation right what i right. now it comes this is the simple way of studying understanding materia medica easy way to perceive or perce uh, 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 perceiving the the nature of the 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 kingdom nature of the source of drugs what is this so before studying materia medica you have to go into the the habits the botany you have to study the botany you have to study the zoology zoology means not studying the cells or the tissues of the 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 animals no the nature of the animals the nature of the character of the animals the lifestyle of the animals how they are snakes are like always like that how the rats are like that the bees are like that they have different lifestyle different home different nature of the right they they speak different languages right yes or no right so what is this this is a tuja plant right what do you understand from that this is green right what is the name of the what is this when you go into deeper of this plant you can see this what is that the small small like a flowers or whatever small stuffs like that right so what is that so here the kingdom classification so before going to the tuja today we are going to discuss about little bit of tuja and uh, one or two drugs then later on we'll discuss about the each and every drugs the homeopathy is a represent representative of the nature homeopathic remedies are is the representative of the nature remedies themselves are derived from the nature is there any artificial uh, remedies no nothing we had been practicing only the looking at the symptoms and so there was a lack of uh, concentr uh, lack of connection with the nature itself when you look at the symptoms the general symptoms the common symptoms no you lose you you, you may lose lot of things the homeopathic remedies whether they derive from the plant or animal or mineral each represent the spirit of that source and it must have the character of the source it must have the the nature of the particular it must have the habits of the the source of drugs now we'll come to the things so tuja is a common remedy in homeopathy is a polycrest one of the polycrest remedy polycrest means we used for various conditions various problem what is the synonym tree of life evergreen do you remember that ever even in winter summer no changes no changes right what is the meaning of the evergreen no changes that is a non non sense ever changes will come right one by one evergreen tree humble growth much branched closely imbricated leaves very closely imbricated leaves 
So you have to remember all these four terminology, right? Evergreen, humble growth, much branch, closely imbricated. This is the, the, the nature, the short nature of the plant. The same thing we are going to apply in the human being. How? See? Very easy. Uh, the constitution, the constitution of the Thuja, right? It's adapted to the hydrogenous constitution. What is hydrogenous constitution? Little flabby and, right? Fat and flabby, uh, more water. Hyper. Hydrogenous means the hyper. There are hypo, you know, in organ and we, I think you may studied about the miasms. What is miasms? Sora, syphilis, psychosis. These are, these are the, right, then, and then combined miasm also. Right here, the, which miasm? Thuja. Psychotic miasm. Psychotic means hyper. Sora means hypo. Syphilitic means the destruction. Sora, syphilis, psychosis. Hyper, psychosis. Hypo, sora. Destruction, ulcer, all these things. What is that? Syphilis. Syphilis. So in such a way. Here the hydrogen related to the psychosis, you know, lymphatic temperament, dark complexion, these are all general things. Then perspiration, sweet is in order, similar like hor uh, garlic or honey. Pungent order from genitalia, is a king of, Thuja is a king of psychotic, king of sensation. In Thuja, when you study the hearing, uh, guiding symptoms, there are hundreds of sensation, hundreds of, hundreds of sensation of the, the patient, the, the, the uh, drug proving they, they, they mention. They got it from the drug proving itself. Very slow, trust, trust, very slow to trust others, then secretiveness. What is this? Secretive means keep. What is that? What is the meaning? Secretive. Keep, keep yeah. Ailment pr uh, from the bad effects of vaccination, suppressed from maltreated gonorrhea, suppressed warts, the animal poisoning, then the miasm is king of antisoric. Then the sphere of action, genital urinary tract, GIT, skin and mucous membrane, glands, nerves and left side remedy and mind. Right, now we'll come to the, how it's related to the, the nature of the, the, the picture of the, or the natural songs of the remedy and the, uh, the disease songs of the person. How we compare? I told you, never change, evergreen. What is the Thuja's mind? It's always fixed idea. That is the key of the Thuja. Key symptom of the Thuja is fixed idea. He never change, never change, evergreen, right? Now you got the idea, right? <laughs> now you got it, right? That's your answer, right? Ah. Then after, after if a strange, a strange persons were at his side, soul and body are body were separated. That is a, one of the the important sensation of the key sensation of tuja. The patient thinks that the patient feels that body and uh, the uh, souls are separated, right? Different. The limbs are made up of glass and break easily. Animal were in the abdomen, that is the sensation. There is no animal, nothing, but patient feels that, right? Feels she is pregnant, some cases. Then the secretiveness compared with the picture. What is the compare with the picture? Did you see anything inside? Everything is closely, closely covered, right? You can't see even a small single stem. If you see the most of the plant, you can see the you can see the stems, right? Stems and the stems of the leaves or whatever. But here, everything is concealed, hidden. 
that is the nature of the tuja nature of the the tuja speaks the nature speaks at the same time the patient also speaks the same language breathe yeah. huh right <laughs> sorry uh, right fixed idea yeah then sorry secretiveness uh slow to trust others very slow this plant if you plant it 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 takes minimum 10 years to come this way very slow growth very slow even the patient symptom like a warts like a tumor slowly it comes out slowly it's growing slowly it developed right reserved reserved means nothing right everything hide everything secret suspiciousness right what is it? what is it? what it means yeah suspect suspiciousness very difficult to right every if, if you say if you uh, that means uh, slow in trust right lack of trust that's why the suspicious comes feeling of fragility that is a, one of the important sensation of uh, tuja why th this sensation comes feeling of fragility why because the fear of losing face in the society that's where the patient comes so this is the non human symptoms not non human songs non human that is a nonsense right <laughs> non human means nonsense right so this is the this is the feeling actually this is the sensation this is the the hidden picture of hidden song behind the symptoms feeling of fragility easily easily break that's why the patient hide because he the tuja patient is keeping in such a way right in the, in the society he maintains in the society in the family not only in the society even in the family even in friend among the friends he keeps uh, you know how why, why, how the symptoms comes why the symptoms is there because to to hide everything because he want to maintain the face right not i, I can't say it's, it's it's a mask but keep himself covered right survival depends on the complete cover up when the the break comes when it's open then everything right what happened that is the nature of the disease right it start from the feelings then it start from the mind sorry the feelings sensation then the mind then the body so the source is there everything is break then it end with the pathology end with the pathology you want to treat the this pathology or that uh, the beginning which one beginning right so we have to take the symptoms as a warts or as a the basic as a tumor or the this one now you got the idea right what i am saying right then dreams falling from this is one of the dreams uh, important dreams in tuja one of the key uh, dreams of tuja dreams falling from high places why the dreams comes now you have to compare what is that because already he is maintaining he is maintaining the position right covered everything ah right strong the most of the strong things if covered up then automatically it's fragile automatically it what happen in tamil we call what are you right <laughs> right you understand right 
right? The, then the the falling for yeah, because of which represent his fear of falling from elevated elevated the because already he is maintaining some status. So when the status status break finish, then the religious fantasm that is a fixed idea. Most of the religious people, very deep religious people, whether maybe a Hindu or maybe a Christian or Muslim. Now the worldwide, this is one of the problem, because they have their fixed ideas. So I believe this one. I am just attached. I am stick on this. Right? No, nothing. I don't allow or I don't uh, um, obey the order or, or the rules of the world. I believe I follow only what Jesus said. I follow what the, the Muhammad said. I follow only the Krishna said. They are fixed on that. Right? That is a fixed idea. So most of the religious fantasy people, we have to give Thuja. Right? Then the physical sphere of uh, physical sphere of uh, yeah sphere stiffness made up of food some uh, made up of wood sometimes they the patient uh, sensation the feeling tuja patients sensation is uh, legs are made up of wood very difficult to move very stiff he this is a very important symptoms of tuja what is that eruptions only on covered part. The only, I think it's the only one drug. Am I correct or not? I think it's the only, only one, one, one remedy which has these symptoms. Eruptions only on covered part. Not here, not in the face. So covered. Do you understand the covered? Where? You got everything is, even mind speaks physically. Mind also fixed idea, here the physical symptom also, the same way. Now you got the idea, right? So mind symptoms completely it's reflect even in the physical symptom too. The eruptions are only in the covered part. See? <clears throat> fixed tumor, the fixed idea. Yes or no? Fixed tumor. What? You see, that's an interesting picture. See the what? <laughs> Did you see that? The Thuja what is like a small cauliflower what? Like a cauliflower. Small cauliflower. Everywhere. Even in the mouth, in the skin, even in the genital organs. Wherever you see the warts or tumors, it's like a cauliflower. See, the, like a small. When you when you focus it, it looks like a cauliflower. So the natural source speaks in the human language. <clears throat> so if you study the materia medica in the same way, <laughs> it's very easy to understand the materia medica as well as very interesting. And even when the patient comes. Easy prescription. Fear of others approaching him. This is one of the important symptoms. Hey, don't touch. Right? Why? The sensation or delusion of fragile. Breaking. Fear of breaking. That's why, oh, don't, don't touch. That's why. The delusion that the body is brittle, made up of glass. That's the symptom. Then the other symptoms also is there. Calculate patients are very calculative, manipulative, unclear. Hard people. Hard people, hard in emotions as well as hard in the tumor too. Hardness in the mind, the hardness in the emotions, at the same way, hard in the tumor too. Manifested physical level, heart tumors. Very hard, very, very then the music cause weeping. Why the music cause weeping in Tuja symptoms, right? When usually they 
put the old music and they started weeping. Why? Because it's a tight, tightness, fixed. Right? When they hear the music, so everything is relaxed, then started weeping. Right? This is the way. Then in uh, reading and writing, he used some wrong expression. Okay, slowness, uh, slowness in of uh, slowness of speech and reflection. Then, yeah, there are some comparative study too. There, there, there's a delusion that someone walking along along him, along the side of him, the medorinum. If you compare the medorinum, someone is behind him. That is medorinum. Someone is walking or someone is lying on the bed, beside his bed, that is a petroleum. Then the suicidal mania, that is also one of the important, there are a lot of uh, drugs for suicide. But this uh, Tuja, one of the psychotic remedy, psychotic remedy as well as psycho psychotic remedy. What is psychotic? This is psychotic, the miasm. They are psychotic, PSY, mind. One of the important drugs for right the insane patients schizophrenia one of the best drug for schizophrenia because they have a lot of delusions and illusions right so here the same hundreds of delusions and illusions sensations i told you the is the king of sensation see the, see there's some comparison of comparative study of uh, the suicidal disposition. Tuja, what is that? See? Attempt suicide to jump out of jump out of window. Always thought he is having the thought. Here, or a met, what is that? Jump from high play, high. They never committed suicide by taking poisoning. They want from jump from jump from high. Why why the high? What is the R metallicum? Gold. The high high in the market, right? <laughs> so always they, they think of they, 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 they won't come down. I know one of the film directors in Chennai, I think you may remember that. Um, <clears throat> GV. You heard about? It, right? One of the famous director, he is having enough money and everything. I don't know why he went to the Uti. You know Uti, the, the highest place in Ch the Tamil Nadu. He went there and he committed suicide in the high. So just, this is my, just my concept, right? I don't know why. The Asadic album, by hanging. Why? Hanging? Because he, suffocation. Suffocation is a, one of the asthma, right? You know, suffocation is a, one of the symptoms of arsenic album. But you can compare the, that suffocation even in suicide too. Yes or no? Then the anti antimonium crudum. It's very sentimental. Antimonium always sentimental, right? By droning. Tani globus. Right? So, different thought of a suicidal attempt, right? Alumina, what is it? here? See the aromet? Can you compare with the aromet and, and aluminium and gold? This is always high, right? The aluminium, see, just cutting. You take knife and cutting. So, seeing the blood. The alumina, Patients, whenever they see the blood, immediately they faint. Immediately they faint. They have, they have the symptom is fear of seeing blood. So you, you have to compare and study like that, the material. Nat himself, suicidal thought is bodily harm. How? Take a gun and shot, finish. Nat himself. Head injury. You remember the head injury? <laughs> right? One of the best remedy for head injury, natum salve, right? Like arnica, injury, remedy, 
but head injury not himself see how everything speaks nature mind the patient symptoms then what i go on closing eyes that is a that is a very important symptoms in tuja pain as if pierced by nail the nature of the the sensation of the pain as if pierced by the nail then ophthalmia neonatum that is the infection in the uh, newborn why because the the mother has the gonococcal infection yes or no so that's why when the baby comes immediately it's infected you know gonorrhea do you remember the symptoms one of the best remedy the gonorrhea the tuja is one of the best remedy for gonorrheal discharge marked action on the glands suppression of gonorrhea see the best drug because it's a psycho psychotic miasma discharge so wherever the discharge that is psychotic miasma then the perspiration sweating see profuse in the genital area where the covered part but here only on uncovered part the sorry the the eruptions are only in the covered part but the normal secretions eruptions are not normal one the abnormals are in the covered part the normal perspiration is a normal one right the only on uncovered part then except head the more sweating in the head calcarea ka excess of sweat in the scalp and head that is calcarea ka here except head the covered part eruptions only on covered part we already discussed then the fixed the tears even you, you can apply the fixity right the fixity tears not rolling down remain remain stationary see because it's fixed over there right what is another drug ignatia also the same way ignatia is little right you can see the few drops they want they want the it 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 comes it it not comes down like that pulsatilla blah 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 immediately they cry right the flowy then the constipation also fixed it doesn't come just little bit of stools comes then see stools re recedes after being partially removed partially expelled scald dandruff right again the nose thick green mucoprolen discharge again tuja psychotic nasal polyps one of the best remedy for nasal polyps small small polyps in the nasals and sinus the best remedy one doctor i know that ent doctor in chennai he prescribed tuja for whoever the patient come with the all right he called the the treatment itself is called tuja therapy tuja therapy so he knows only few remedies tuja acid nitricum and some of the other remedies he treat that he learned from my guru uh dr subramaniam right my he was my principal in our school so he learned from he him and now he started treatment treating like a tuja therapy then what the condylometas right skin uh, genitalia fist yeah the what's condylometa what is condylometas is a round not cauliflower like tumor round tumor when you uprooted the this is a very interesting thing when you uprooted the tuja plant you can see small small like tumors like uh, round tumors like uh, root very interesting right the condylometa that's called condylometas the same the same way even the patient tuja patients too uh, usually it's uh, comes genitalia then fistula cauliflower cauliflower like growth in the uh even in uh, hanimans uh, one of the um note he mentioned about that uh one of one of his colleague he treated with the tuja for the 
horse having the cauliflower like uh, growth in the uh, anus that it that is mentioned in Hanneman's uh, some of the description I forget in, in which uh, he described then uh, then urethritis gonococcal that is a gonorrheal infections alloys sticky discharge alloys sticky sticky discharge from the the genital genitalia because the gonococcal most of the in, uh, infections are like uh, right? some greeny means it's different greeny means a uh, pulsatilla uh, greeny and yellowish means a uh, calibic so like that then the aggravations of symptoms modality damp cold 3 a.m. 3 p.m. easily easily you can um, memorize right <coughs> remember 3 a.m. 3 p.m. that is a uh, uh, toja only 3 a.m. 3 to 5 a.m. calibic calicab like that then tea coffee these are the triggering elements tea coffee onion it's war ameliorated by the symptom relieved by warm and free secretions and rubbing okay so next uh, we are going to discuss about this is also very interesting right after the break Either angle, neighbor.